Good morning. It's time to call to order the March 26, 2015 meeting of the Oklahoma City Airport Trust. The first item on our agenda is to approve the minutes of the February 26, 2015 Oklahoma City Airport Trust. <clears throat> we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Please cast your votes. And it is approved. Next, Director's Report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, everyone. Just a quick report that uh, spring break was very robust last week, and uh, everything went really well at the airport. There were no delays on traffic, and uh, passengers uh, were accommodated both on their flights and in the parking uh, facilities. So it went really, really well. That's all. Thank you, sir. Quick, quick question. Go right ahead. Since it's, it's, it's fresh on your mind, uh, it was a unique storm last night that came through. You want to just talk to us a minute or two about uh, the ac evacuation and, and uh, how that was handled last night? I'd be happy to. Um, yes, it was an extremely uh, unusual event last night. Um, uh, severe weather and squall lines were going through about 6 uh, to 6.30 last night in South Oklahoma City. Um, the sirens uh, went off despite there being no, no uh, tornado warnings and uh, there was uh, proactive measures by the uh, airport police and airport operations and also the TSA assisted in evacuating about 400 passengers into the tunnel, which is an area that we'd like to go to because it's somewhat underground. Um, that evacuation started at 6.46 p.m. and uh, at 7.25 they brought the passengers back up out of the tunnel and started rescreening and rescreening operations took about 45 minutes, so the TSA did an absolutely outstanding job getting everybody uh, back into the uh, concourse and into the sterile area. It was uh, a good timing event from an airport uh, uh, or an airplane standpoint. We actually were in between arrival and departure segments at the airport, so there actually were actually no airplanes on the ramp when the uh, hail occurred. Uh, my operations personnel reported that there was golf ball size hail on the airport, and so that would have been very detrimental to the aircraft that were uh, on the ramp at the gates. So um, it was an unusual event, uh, clearly sort of a perfect storm in that uh, it just dropped out of the sky, and I think everybody did a pretty good job. Yeah, it was just a unique event. I mean, that We usually sound the sirens based upon the National Weather Service. The National Weather Service didn't pick up on it, and Oklahoma City sounded the sirens based upon actual uh, visual sightings by police officers in the field of tornadic, which was the right thing to do, obviously. There, there was some activity there. So we've never done anything quite like that before. But obviously, eyes on the ground is, is as good as, as radar. So uh, anyway, it was just a, a, a different, different event for us. Yes, sir. Any further discussion? No, sir. Thank you, Mark, for uh, briefing us on that. Uh, next on our agenda then is Will Rogers World Airport. Thank you. Uh, following items under Will Rogers are item A, to adopt a resolution approving advertising, marketing assistance, and qualifying incentives for the promotion of new air service from Alaska Airlines for nonstop service to Seattle, Washington. That service starts on July the 1st. B is to adopt a resolution authorizing uh, NFAX Incorporated to install proprietary replacement hardware and peripheral systems for our flight information display system uh, equipment at uh, an estimated amount of $48,300. C is approve an amendment number three to the contract for engineering services with Johnson and Associates Incorporated. This is for the Portland Avenue North Phase Relocation Project improvements adding $7,000. D is approving change order two to the construction contract with Dane and, Electric, Dane and Associates Electric Company for the air fuel lighting generator replacement project. We're adding 30 calendar days. E is approving change order eight to the construction contract with Terrace Global Incorporated. This is for our checked baggage inspection system project, adding $11,994.34. F is approving amendment number two to the contract with TTK Construction Company for the replacement of our asphalt portions of taxiway C&G with concrete, adding $8,946.88. G is approving change order one to the contract with Wynn Construction Company. This is for the 100% capacity power generation system project, adding $9,302.25 in 13 days. And last item, H, is approving change order two to the construction contract with ResTech Incorporated for our tunnel enhancement project, adding $1,149.18 in six days. Those are all the items for Will Rogers. Uh, Mark, what, just a few comments on H, uh, tunnel enhancement. 
give our people a little up, update on what that's going to be, if you would, please, sir. So this is the enhancement project that actually combines uh, sort of an overall of the uh, overhaul of the uh, quarter mile tunnel that we have at Will Rogers that connects our parking garages to the terminal facility. Um, this is a, a lighting project. It's going to be a lot of visual enhancement. It will have a, a video wall consisting of 19 video monitors that we're going to be able to uh, show a, a semblance of people being able to look outside of an aircraft fuselage. Uh, there will be lots of various uh, video schemes that will be played uh, in that scenario. We're also combining this project with a water intrusion project uh, to better waterproof the terminal for that uh, quarter mile length. Thank you, sir. The project is uh, scheduled to be complete uh, around the April and May time frame. Excellent. Trustees? We have a motion is second. Any discussion? Please cast your votes. And it is approved. General. Only two items. Receive the delinquent accounts receivable report, construction project status report, and the budget actual report. And B is to approve Amendment 2 to the Brewer Construction Oklahoma LLC uh, annual utilities repairs and maintenance contract for one year or three hundred thousand dollars. You've heard the items under general. What is the trustees' desires? Second. We have a motion and second. Any discussion? Please cast your votes. And is so done. Lease and other agreements. A is to approve supplement number seven to the passenger airline operating and lease agreement with American Airlines. They're leasing departure gate eight space and some additional ticket counter and extended counter space. B is also approving the airline operating agreement with American Airlines for its uh, Part 121 scheduled air service at Will Rogers. C is approving the passenger airline operating and lease agreement for non-signatory carriers with Allegiant Air LLC for its operation of its commercial service at Will Rogers Airport. D is approving supplement number one to the contract with Allied Waste Systems. They're changing their name to do business as Republic Services of Oklahoma City. That's also at Will Rogers. Item E is approving Supplement Management Services Agreement Number 5 with Protec Fire Services, approving their annual budget to be effective on July the 1st at Will Rogers. F is approving the lease agreement with Harold Lewis Smith for his operation of the shoeshine business for a five-year period at Will Rogers. G is approving the lease agreement with the Quiet Birdman Association for the use of their Clarency Page uh, Aviation Building and Associated Premises at Wiley Post Airport. H is approving the lease agreement with TAG OKC Incorporated, doing business as Thrifty Car Rental for the use of their on-airport facility to maintain service and self-fuel rental vehicles. I is approving the air cargo operating agreement for signatory carriers with the Federal Express Corporation for their operation of their air freight handling service at Will Rogers. J is approving the agreement, uh, J and K uh, are both approving agreements with Oklahoma Natural Gas for gas facilities relocation related to the Portland Avenue relocation project. L is approving supplement lease number six to the Federal Transfer Center lease and also the uh, amendment one to the revocable permit with the Department of Justice, Federal Bureau of Prisons. This is providing for installation of additional security cameras and extra uh, uh, lease premises. That's also at Will Rogers. M is approving the lease agreement with Stephen Barnes for the lease of space to construct an individual hangar site at Clarence e. Page Airport. Items N through R are assignment uh, and assumption agreements. This is for people at PWA Incorporated at Wiley Post Airport, which are transferring uh, ownership of hangars from one party to another. Item S is approving the off-airport automobile rental car concession agreement with Advantage Opco LLC doing ad, uh, business as Advantage Rent-A-Car uh, for its off-airport rental car concession locations. And T is to approve an agreement with AT&T for the installation, operation, and maintenance of infrastructure and cabling associated with the new consolidated rental car facility at Will Rogers. And uh, item U and V are a list of ground services agreements with various modes of transportation, taxi cabs, uh, uh, public shuttle companies, limousines, courtesy vehicles. Uh, this is the time of year we do those. So that completes all the items for leases and other agreements, Mr. Chairman. You've heard the items under lease and other agreements. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion or questions? Please cast your votes. And it's so done. Uh, paragraph 7, adopt the re requisition resolution. Move to adopt the resolution. We have a motion. 
Second, any discussion? Please cast your votes. It is so done. Uh, comments from trustees? Seeing none. Uh, comments from staff? Any citizens wishing to address the uh, trustees? Seeing none, we are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.